Welcome back everyone the, from the point and click community. So if you're an IT professional, this is not for you. Or you go in the basement, we are here in my basement, and you have a router slash firewall that looks something like this. You're probably an IT professional. This is not for you. Something like this, you're probably an IT professional or your company put this in for you. This is not for you, this video. This video is all about the old Asus AC66 routers. And the AC66 is not anymore supported. The reason I make this video, I had a look at the network from a friend. She never updated the firmware on her old AC66 router. We will help her out and update the firmware. She still can use that router. I mean, there are some security issues with it, maybe because it's not supported, but in her case, she's dual natting. So it's not that big an issue. So first we need to download a firmware for the router. I'm using usually firmware from Merlin because it leaves the user interface from Asus intact. Let's go to the Merlin website and look. And what we need is the AC66R. The R and U, it just depends where you bought it or what color it is. We see it's no longer supported. I'm going to anyhow take a look at when the last one was released here. So I click on the main download site. And it was released in 2016 here. So I think there would be really big security issues with that. I will take a look at the Asus website if I can find a newer firmware there. Yeah, it looks like we have here one. Now let me see, BIOS and firmware. Let's see when the last one was. So yeah, this is a pretty new firmware for this old box. I'm surprised Asus really supports that. So let's download this thing. Minimize, let me look in my downloads folder. and extract that. Okay, so let's install that firmware on that old router. So let's log on to this router. In my case, it has the 1.1 .1 address. And there we are. Please don't pay attention to this uh, because I could figure that offline it would make a mess if I connect this one to my network because of the addressing. So what you want to do is go to the administration. Before we go to the firmware upgrade, you want to save your settings of that router and I also back up this partition here. I want to keep this and this partition is picked up too just in case. Now we move over to the firmware upgrade and we don't do a check right now. This is the 380.70 firmware and it's a Merlin firmware what's on it. So we gonna put now the original firmware on what we just downloaded. So we chose a file. This is our ex extracted folder. This is the firmware. We open this firmware and click upload. 
point and click, point and click. So the firmware update is done. All we have to do is log in. Okay, I kept my settings. I didn't went through these settings before, but it kept the settings. Going to the administration, looking at firmware now. Now it's the newer firmware. So, this router is basically safe and I don't think there are any security issues with it anymore because Asus put a new firmware out for this old box. Unbelievable. Now, as you can see, this is an old router with a one-core CPU on it, 265 megabyte of RAM. I think she still can use it without any issues. Now, I have here also a RTAC 66U B1 router. And uh, let's update that. So let's get back to the Merlin website here. Like I said, I have a RT66 UB1 out here. So let's see if we get a Merlin firmware from that site for that router. And that's the B1. So you see the 66 B1 uses the firmware of the AC68U. So we go back, look for the 68U. Here we have the 68U. So there's a newer firmware for this one. So just let's download this firmware and upgrade my B1 with this firmware. And we do a manual firmware update. Click on upload. Now I click on my downloads on my extracted file in this folder, select that file and hit open. So now that the router is updated, we are going to update a TP-Link router, what is temporarily in my network. Why is it in my network? You will see in a future video. Just click on update the firmware and I click on upgrade here. Well, I should have clicked on yes, because that's what we want to do. I didn't even back the configuration up or anything. Like I said, this is temporarily in it. It has only the function as a wireless access point. So there isn't that much to configure on it. And it's doing its stuff. With that said, please subscribe to my channel if you're not a subscriber hit that notification bell to be notified of new videos coming out and give this video a like thank you very much